Jack. Jack, why are you ignoring me? You know that fellow you were telling me about from your hometown? You mean Texas Red? I think he's waiting outside. Now what the hell does he want? Why would I know? The only thing that yellow belly coward is getting is hot lead between his eyes. Well, I'm mighty glad you feel that way, old son, because I came a long way to get a shot off at you. If you're going to do this, do it outside. There are goddamn horses in this barn. All right. All right. But I see you outside, boy. Why do you hate him so much that you're willing to risk your life just so you can get a chance at him? Once upon a time, two young men dreamed of being cowboys, but one of them boys had a disregard for rules. He was playing with a gun when he shouldn't have, and accidentally fired at my wife. She was all right though, hit my baby Chuck. You see, Texas Red and I were those boys, and I felt the wrath of God come over me and I dragged him into the street by his collar. I told him to get ready to shoot again because one of us was going to die. But I was a young man myself. I didn't have nothing in the way and no target practice under my belt. Shot him right through the leg while I was aiming for his heart. But when I saw the blood and I heard him hollering, I couldn't shoot him again. So I told that boy, I said, if I ever see you again, you'll be six feet deep and that's a promise. I told you you'd be a dead man if I ever saw your face again. It's all right. Why don't you say hello to Chuck for me? You tried to kill me once before, boy. How'd that work out for you? Only thing you shot was my leg, something I've had to deal with every damn day of my life since. I've had to crawl out of bed. I've had to limp everywhere for the past three years. I haven't had one normal day. <laughs>